Thank you so much for your help. No problem, ma'am. Just call on me, and I'll be there to help you in a flash. You're such a good boy. <laughs> Thank you again. <laughs> All in a day's work. My name's Masaomi Sugimoto. I work an ordinary office job in the area. People around say I'm extremely kind-hearted, but I just like helping people in need. Though, I overdid it as a child one time when I tried to save a drowning girl. Heroes in comics and TV shows make rescues look so cool. But instead, I also started drowning and got injured when I was swept into a large rock. I couldn't be like the heroes I admired so much. It feels great to help others. I'm home! You're back late. Working overtime today? Or were you out helping people again? You're always doing whatever you can. Guess there's nothing left for a dropout like you. This is my brother, Takuto. He's two years older than me, and like he said, I'm a dropout. We're a family of high academic achievers, but I'm the odd one out. I got poor grades, so I couldn't get into the high school or the college our parents wanted me to get into. Despite that, they wanted me to work hard at the things I could do, and they've supported me the whole time. But Takuto has no interest in someone useless like me, and has said as much to me. So that exchange is pretty common between us. Just ignore him, get changed, have dinner, take a bath, watch my favorite superhero show. Don't ignore me! We need to talk! About what? You're single, right? No girlfriend or anything? Yeah, why? Then you go to the marriage meeting. Huh? Where'd this even come from? What's this about? The CEO of a company we work with wants his only daughter to get married, except she's fat and has trouble saying no. So, just treat it as a normal arrangement. You think I could marry someone like that? Glasses? Messy hair? She really isn't your type at all. See what I mean? She's too plain, so I don't want to do her. And it'd be a pain if an eyesore four eyes like her falls for me. I want to focus on work, so I'm sending my lovely baby brother instead. His grades aren't any good, but he's super nice and my pride and joy. That's what I told the CEO. What the heck? Why would you do that? You can't just run your mouth off like that! Shut up, trash! There's nothing redeeming about you. So show me you can be more useful to me than a stain on our family name. I'll text you the details later, so knock yourself out. Don't blow this, scrub. Seriously? A marriage meeting out of nowhere? But it's not fair to leave her hanging, either. I'll just accept the meeting in person, that's all. Today's the day of the meeting. Ah, uh, I'm so nervous. What do people even talk about at these things? Should I talk about the weather? I have no idea. Pardon me. She's here! I'm sorry I'm late. I'm Shoko Hagiwara. Whoa! Is something wrong? No, nothing. My name's Masaomi Sugimoto. Masaomi, right? Thank you for coming. It, it wasn't a problem at all. She's the girl I'm meeting? She looks totally different from the photo, but they have the same name. Uh, what's going on? Was the photo fate? Oh, right. This must have been a surprise to you. Oh, no. Not really. It's just an old photo of me. But it's the one that my father gives me without asking. He even arranged this meeting without telling me first. Oh, okay. I guess you're not that keen on this arrangement either. That's right. But I think this could be fate. If it's alright with you, could we go out sometime? What? Uh, are you sure? Wouldn't it be a shame to walk away after we've just met? We could even forget about marriage and just stay friends. But please, don't feel obligated or anything. No, it's okay. Let's go somewhere. <laughs> Great! Then let's plan something later. Shoko and I decided to go to an amusement park on Sunday. Oh, it's been so long since I've been to one of these. Same with me. Do you want to ride something? Let's go on a thrill ride! You sure? Yes, let's go ride all of the ones here. And let's start with the roller coaster. That was so much fun. Uh, it was great. These are all quality rides here. Yeah. Shoko's a lot more outgoing than she looks. I didn't think she'd ride the same coaster three times in a row. Shoko, let's take a br- What? Your head? Oh, did you see it? I got hurt when I was a kid. It wasn't anything serious, but the mark's still there! Are you okay? Yeah, I'm go- uh. Oh, 
No, I got too carried away, didn't I? Let's sit on that bench for now. How do you feel? I'll be fine as long as we take it easy. Um, um do you need to lie down? It might help with the nausea. But where? Right here. On your lap? Are you sure? Put your head here. If... if it's okay. Wow, it's so soft. Who'd have thought lap pillows were this nice? And something smells really nice. Once you feel better, let's do something other than a thrill ride. I know we agreed on something different, but I didn't expect a haunted house. The beginning seems pretty tame, though. Masahumi, I think there's... something over there. It's really cute how timid she became as soon as we walked in. It'll be okay. Everything here is fake. I know that, but they're still kind of scary. Like, I get it, but my heart's still pounding. And the dolls... Oh, they're such a greater quality than what I can imagine! <laughs> Something just came out of it! It has to be real! <laughs> Nothing's real in here. We'll be fine. It's just a doll. Please, don't get separated from me. Please don't leave me alone. Please, please, please! I'll be right here. I'll be with you till the very end. I said that, but she's so close. Come on, this isn't a cemetery. That was scary. You were really freaking out in there. Like I said, I didn't think it'd be so realistic. <laughs> Someone's crying. This way! <laughs> What's wrong? Mommy and Daddy are gone. Oh, you're lost. <laughs> It'll be okay. We'll help you find them. Really? Of course. Oh, I'm sorry, Shoko. I shouldn't have just... <laughs> Don't worry about it. Not like we could just leave him crying. Thanks, Shoko. All right. Let's find your parents. Okay. I'm glad we found his parents. It was good they were looking for him in the lost child department, too. You're really kind, you know that? Am I? I think this is pretty normal. You really haven't changed at all. Sorry, what was that? It's nothing, really. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wow, the view's beautiful. Everything's sparkling like jewels. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Today has been so much fun. I can't even remember the last time I smiled this much. I had a lot of fun too. If it's okay with you, can we go out again? I want to know more and more about you, Masaomi-san. Um... Oh, sorry, I just... It's okay. You don't have to be sorry. Let's talk more. Okay. We had our amusement park date because we both had the day off. Sharing the day and learning more about her made my heart race. I didn't just like her. I was in love with her. One day, we decided to go to the beach. Look at the ocean. Summer's definitely the time for swimming. You're totally right. Let's come back in the summer. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. <sighs> What's wrong? You're staring off into the distance. Oh, it's just that I tried to save a girl at a beach a long time ago. I was just playing on the sand when I noticed she was drowning. Wow, that's so brave of you. <laughs> Thanks. It would have been even cooler if I could have helped her, though. To be honest, I nearly ended up drowning, too. That's when I got the scar on my forehead. It's really a lame story. Masa Omi... I'm really the worst member of my family. I can't do anything right. Sorry. I didn't mean to kill the mood. You're so much more than you think. Huh? You're really kind, you know that? It's not easy to help others, you know? It's amazing that you could just jump into action. Shoko. Besides, I'm sure you were a hero to that drowning girl. Even though we both ended up in danger? I bet she still remembers how hard you tried to save her. I hope so. Achoo! Oh, it's getting colder. There's a nice coffee shop nearby. Wanna go there? Yeah, let's go. Our beach date got cut short, but Shoko and I got closer and closer together. The distance between us closed as my heart swelled more and more. The days passed, 
and it was almost Shoko's birthday. We planned a date to go out and celebrate. It's finally her birthday. Today, I'm going to tell Shoko that I love her. Things started because I was standing in for my brother, but my feelings for her are real. But would someone as wonderful as her be attracted to me? I'm not like my brother. I'm not outstanding in anything. Masaomi? What is it? You were spacing out. You okay? Oh, yeah. Just wondering if you'd like the restaurant I reserved. <laughs> you picked it, so I'm sure I'll love it. Shoko. Masaomi? Is that you? What? What are you doing here? Um... Right. Shoko? This is my brother. I'm Shoko Hagiwara. Nice to meet you. Shoko, huh? So you're the girl he's dating. She's pretty hot, baby bro. When'd you pick her up? You seriously don't know? You're the one who introduced her to me. Huh? What are you talking about? You were about to meet her for the marriage meeting. For real? But the chick in the photo has glasses and stuff. Was it an old picture? Shoko, how about you ditch this loser and go out with me instead? Takuto, what are you saying? Shut it. She was supposed to be mine to begin with. She's much better off with a classy guy like me than trash like you. Hey! I don't want to go out with someone so shallow. Huh? Shoko? What do you mean I'm yours? Don't treat people like objects. I don't want anything to do with people like you. Watch your mouth! Besides, I'm in love with Masaomi. I don't care how handsome you are or where you're graduated from. I can't stand people with awful personalities. Masaomi's the only one for me. Shiro? Boring. Have it your way then. Tch. Thanks for standing up for me, Shoko. But what do you mean by me being your hero? You saved a drowning girl a long time ago, right? That girl was me. Wait, really? You had no idea, did you? I'm so sorry. I really don't. It's natural you wouldn't, but I'm glad you still remember that day. I've never forgotten the day you saved me. When we met for the marriage meeting, I caught a glimpse of the boy who saved me. I wondered if it really was you. Seeing the scar when we went to the amusement park was the proof I needed. Masaomi, you're my first love and my hero. Can you continue to be my one and only hero? Yes, Shoko. I love you. The more time I spend with you and learn about you, the more I fall in love with you. I swear, I'll keep you safe. And so, Shoko and I started looking forward to marriage. And as a further retribution after being shut down by Shoko, every girl Takuto tried hitting on turned him down. Those girls spread word about him, and the ones he toyed with kept far away from him. He's pretty docile now, and keeps it home on his days off. Meanwhile, everyone else was supportive of Shoko's and my relationship. Shoko's father even took a liking to me, and set me up to inherit the company. Months later, when things calmed down after I took over the company... I'm so happy right now. And I'm the happiest man alive. Please, watch after me forever and ever. Of course. I'll protect you no matter what happens. I love you, Shoko. I love you too. Thank you for watching. How was today's video? Please check out our other videos as well.